my back pain's completely cured. Welcome to the no BS intro to the five biggest culprits behind low back pain and what to do about them. Let's dive in. Coming in number five, muscle strain. This is an injury to the tendons and muscles in the lower back. Pushing and pulling sports, such as weightlifting or football, can lead to lumbar strain. In addition, sports that require sudden twisting of the lower back, <laughs> such as in tennis, basketball, baseball, and golf, can lead to this injury as well. Treatment include icing, compression bandage, Tylenol, rest from activity until the pain is tolerable, then go gradually back to activity. With the exercises, you want to start with isometric exercise with your trunk completely neutral, then start adding stretches with concentric exercise onto loading the affected muscle. Massage and trigger point injection at the spot with muscle knots can also help relieve some pain. Coming in number four, poor posture. Your spine is supposed to look like this, where the weight is spread out throughout the spine. When you have a bad posture like this, all the stress is added to the neck and lumbar spine where the curvatures are at, which lead to pain. Correcting your posture with a seat that support your lower and mid back. You need 90 degrees at the hip and the knees. Your feet should be flat on the ground. The computer screen at or slightly below your eye level. Forearms should be parallel to the floor. Your wrists are straight and hands are in line with the forearms. A standing desk can help as well. And you want the computer monitor to be 20 to 40 inches away from your eyes. The best exercise you can do for posture is to strengthen your core with activities and exercises such as bird dog, gluteal bridge, or planks. Coming in number three, disc herniation. This occurs when a disc in your spine bulges out and presses on the nerve. The most common disc that protrude is in your L5 and S1. The symptoms include sharp pain, numbness, and tingling, often radiating down to your leg, a condition called sciatica. Some lead to weakness in your foot and toe and loss of sensation as well. Ow, that slip disc. Treatment of disc herniation include reducing the activity that worsens the pain for at least a week. Some might find crouching, reclining, or lying help with their symptoms. After that week, you want to start returning to physical activity plus or minus physical therapy. Through the McKenzie method, you can slowly build up the muscles that can help stabilize your core and back. Tylenol and ibuprofen are your best friends, but remember to stay within recommended dosages. If these don't work, then we start trying different medications with less evidence like steroids, muscle relaxants, and nerve pain medications. If all of these fails, then we start talking about epidural, steroid injections, which may provide some benefit in the short term. Coming in number two. Spinal stenosis is when the spaces within your spine narrow, putting pressure on the nerves. You'll often feel better when leaning forward, like on a shopping cart. This is called the shopping cart sign. Your symptoms may include pain, numbness, and weakness, usually in the legs. I just went on. Sometimes your pain gets worse or your legs gets increasingly heavier with walking or standing for a long time. Then sitting and leaning forward helps relieve the symptoms after a while, then you can walk again. This is called neurogenic claudication. This is one of the few causes of low back pain that can potentially be an emergency. If you lose function of your leg or foot where it's super weak, or if you pee yourself or poop yourself, or the opposite where you cannot pee or poop, you might need urgent surgical decompression from the neurosurgeons and you shouldn't be watching this video. Otherwise, for mild stenosis, so mild narrowing, physical therapy focusing on increasing that flexion of the lumbar spine and strengthening your core is key. Medications like ibuprofen, nerve pain medication, and epidural injections can also be helpful. Surgery is the final option and not always effective. Coming in number one, arthritis. Arthritis in the spine, also known as osteoarthritis, involves degeneration of the cartilage in the joints, which happens with age and overuse. Symptoms include stiffness, pain, and reduced range of motion in your lower back. Treatment, low impact exercise, like swimming or cycling can reduce pain and improve joint function. Medication options are similar to before, and injection can be effective as well. Although the effect is quite short-lived, surgery is usually the final option and it sacrifices mobility and flexibility for improvement in pain, which is quite the trade-off.